gonna talk to you today about designing uh, a small streams backpack for your uh, smallmouth trout walleye endeavors. As you can see, starting out here, you want something that's going to be fairly light, and mobile that you can wade fish in, and two, uh, you want to have pretty much all your hooks at the ready. Mine's kind of messy. I haven't really went through them and uh, cleaned it out, but you know it's important to have the hook and uh, weight if you need it for the deeper pools, rubble worms. But yeah, you know, this right here, I keep uh, got my Berkeley flicker minnows, some rooster tails, you know, just uh, the little rebel bitty minnows, the old rebel minnow I've had forever, spinners, you know, wee crawls, I just gotta get it organized. But in this box, you know, it's I've done really well catching smallmouth on the hula tubes, the Gary Amato creatures, brush hogs. You know, just want to keep. Here's the fat Akas, e Gary I don't know. But you just want to keep a little bit of everything. And you see, you know, it's not a lot of stuff. It has, this Columbia backpack has all the pockets to, to help you you know throw all this in there and go you know that's the important thing about uh weight fishing is being mobile and two like you want to keep some extra baits in the back uh, i've got some z-mans yamato flapping hogs uh strike king tubes yep, berkeley gold pilgrimites tubes some bass pro shop walleye angler gary yamato super gloves most of the things i use are like green pumpkin and white and these are really good for smallmouth green uh pumpkin centipede by zoom but yeah I mean, you can throw all this in there and go but when you stay mobile you know you can get in on the fish and sneak in and there's no better fun than fishing uh white fishing in the summer but uh thank you for watching and i hope you took something from the video and thank you